the burden which was seen by the prophet Habakkuk. The burden. That expression is used in a number of the different prophets. They use that expression to mean the prophecy, the, the word of God. God has given them a message. And their responsibility and their drive to get that message out. Well, what word would you use? You call it a burden. God put a burden on their heart to get this word out. What word? Habakkuk chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Fierce than evening 
chargers charge ahead. Their cav cavalry comes from afar, and they fly as eagles that hasten to eat. And they all come for violence, and their faces are set like the east wind, and gather captives like sand. Their faces are set like the east wind. That's an expression that would be difficult to understand today and difficult in America. Remember, uh, Habakkuk is in uh, Israel's area, Palestine. To the east is a very large desert with practically no streams or lakes or water. And when the wind blows from the east, it's blowing across that hot sand. And that wind is hot and just bakes them. On a hot day, you have that wind that's even worse. And their faces are going to be unchangeable, unmovable. They're going to be painful. They're going to be set uh, to attack and to destroy. And you can't stop it any more than you can stop the wind. They gather captives like sand. When you scoop up sand, you get a lot of little kernels, little grains. Saying when these people come in and they swoop up uh, the uh, people in the area, they just swoop them up in large numbers. They just collect them all. Just, uh, uh, as many as are there, they just gather them up with no limits. Habakkuk is shocked. And he answers back to God. Aren't you from everlasting to everlasting? O Lord my God, my Holy One? We, we shall not die, O Lord. You have appointed for them judgment, O rock. You have marked them for correction. You are pure eyes than to behold evil. And you cannot look on a wickedness. Why do you look on those who deal so treacherously? And you hold your tongue when the wicked devours a person more righteous than he. Then Job answered the Lord and said, 
like this and do this. Does the United States have any greater uh, claim that we have protection from God than did the Israelites?
America has sin, has some great sin that's common and popular, even led by many of our government leaders. And the National Day of Repentance, National Repentance, uh, to give honor to God and His law. Our ultimate defense, in, in the end, the only one defense we have to continue in the blessings that God gives us is to say, 